Welcome to this Windows channel and this is a video to talk about the new cumulative update for Windows 10. So if you are on Windows 10 anniversary update, you have a new update today. It's a cumulative update called KB320 1845. It is available for everybody that is on Windows 10. Um, this was released to, uh, uh, at least a week and a half to two weeks ago in the release preview ring, but it had a few bugs, so it took time before it reached everyone. Now we have it today. I've installed it. It's a quick install, 10 minutes. Um, one thing I want to say about this, a lot of you are saying, oh, it took two hours, three hours, four hours. No, don't count the download time. A lot of people are telling me, oh, it took two hours, but, you know, an hour and a half to download. It's normal that a Windows update takes a lot of time to download sometimes. That doesn't count as time for the update. You know, people just stand there and look at the download and they wait. You don't have to do that. You use your computer and when it's ready, it's ready. That's it. Don't wait for the download or if the download took six hours or if the download's stuck and it's not downloading, it's not necessarily a problem. It's just going to download eventually. So you have to be patient with, uh, patient with, with updates. So once it's downloaded and it says you need to restart, that's when you start counting how long it takes from the moment the computer restarted to when it came back to normal with the update installed. That's the time you have to calculate. This one was a quick install. I, I don't think it took more than 10 minutes, maybe even you know less than f f five. So uh, what's in here? That's one thing that I wanna say, because a lot of you were gonna say, yeah. So uh, first it shows up as cumulative update for Windows 10. Uh, version 1607 KB320 1845. If you look at your Windows version with WinVer, WinVer for Windows version, you should be now at 14393.479 today. Now, this fixes a few things. So, if you're wondering what does this fix, it's not from what I see a security update, it's really uh, reliability updates. So there's improved reliability of mobile device management. Um, there's also peripheral component interface and PowerShell uh, that are imp improved. The addressed issue that caused excessive battery drain if you have uh, Chinese input for some reason and use Windows Hello. The uh, fix issues where um, OLE drag and drop that prevents users from downloading a SharePoint document library as a file addressing issue with super floppy formatted fixed media devices that are not recognized by Windows 10 anniversary update or accessible in Windows Explorer. So certain types of external drives that were not working are about are, are, are supposed to be fixed here. So if you had an issue with a um, you know an external memory card reader stuff like that, check it out after this install. Um, they addressed an issue that causes the System Center Configuration Manager client to fail installation when a device is re-imaged using the SCCM task sequence. Addresses issue that causes the loss of optional components, state information, including all iProv virtual machines after upgrade. It addresses issue that causes the Windows Explorer to display information that's inconsistent with what's stored on the, uh, a floppy disk. So if you're using uh, some floppy disks, stuff like that, uh, they were kind of, the information was wrong. They addressed an issue that after connecting a shared CD, DVD, hosted drive with no media inserted, caused some of the commands like DIR and net use to hang. They addressed issues where customers cannot use directory cache size greater than 64 kilobytes. They address an issue where Windows Explorer sometimes does not prompt for credentials when a user logs on using Microsoft account. And they address additional issues with the application of compatibility and Internet Explorer. So basically, that's pretty much um, what is in here. Um, a few fixes that are for different little things that uh, were buggy for some users. And um, it you know, doesn't seem to have problems. I looked at the uh, logs. Uh, I, I haven't seen yet problems with this update. And like I said, if the update down, doesn't download immediately, don't worry. It can take, you know, some people could have updates up to two, three, four days after they are released. Um, so, you know, there's no no problem there. If, if after uh, two weeks or three weeks you don't have an update, that's that's a problem. That, now we need to check it out. But when a, an, you know, an update gets stuck in the download and it's not doing anything, 
it's not necessarily a problem. It's eventually going to download. Just give it time, uh, basically. And of course, you can use the download catalog. But I always prefer people using the Windows Update because it is the proper way that updates are supposed to be installed usually. So Windows 10 cumulative update available today to all Windows 10 users. So check it out. You have a update and it should uh, install flawlessly probably for everybody. If you have any comments, questions, anything, let us know. And uh, this is uh, mostly bug fixes. There's no security issues in here. So it's not you know as urgent as a security update, for example. It's really little bug fixes of different things that are very, very unique and not necessarily uh, a problem for most people, basically. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up. And if you have installed this update, let me know how it goes. Hope that uh, and probably will go well for most people.